if we want to create the kind of world that we want to we need to understand whatever you refer to as god the idea of god has entered our mind only because we have seen creation around us because there is creation we have assumed a creator god is a great creator what you refer to as god is a source of creation that source of creation has not failed us has done a fantastic job but now the question is about management if you want to leave the management in the hands of the creator he will manage it in his own way according to his agenda but that's not what you want you want life to happen the way you want it now for example let's say all of you here are the india soccer team for the next world cup and i am the coach so these next 4 years everything that you need to know about football is taught to you everything that i know about football is poured into you in so many ways now the time to play the match has come you're on the field and the ball comes near your foot but you look at me then it's no good you've seen those coaches sitting there and boiling nothing happens because now once you're on the field it's your job so this is the same thing the creator has done a fantastic job now you're here it is for you and me to see how to manage this how we want it how to keep this world how in what condition would all of us enjoy it best is something that we have to look at so at every stage in our life we tend to think this is it if this one thing happens everything will be fine with my life you reach there and you realize that's not it and you postpone it to something else and something else this is going on the first and foremost thing is you must be clear what is it that you really want if you do not know what you want the question of creating it doesn't arise if you look at what you really want what every human being wants is he wants to live joyfully he wants to live peacefully in terms of its relationships he wants it to be loving and affectionate or in other words all that any human being is seeking for is pleasantness within himself pleasantness around him if this pleasantness if it happens in our body we call this health and pleasure if it happens in our mind we call this peace and joy if it happens in our emotion we call this love and compassion if it happens in our energy we call this blissfulness and ecstasy this is all that a human being is looking for whether he is going to his office to work he wants to make money build a career build a family he sits in the bar sits in the temple he is still looking for the same thing pleasantness within pleasantness around if this is what we want to create i think it's time we address it directly and commit ourselves to creating it so you want to create yourself as a peaceful human being joyful human being loving human being a pleasant human being on all levels and do you also want a world like this a peaceful world a loving world a joyful world no no i want greenery i want food when we say a joyful world that means everything that you want has happened so this is all that you're looking for so all that you need to do is commit yourself to creating it to create a peaceful joyful and loving world both for yourself and everybody around you every day in the morning if you start your day with this simple thought in your mind that today wherever i go i will create a peaceful loving and joyful world if you fall down 100 times in the day what does it matter for a committed man there is no such thing as failure if you fall down 100 times 100 lessons to be learned if you commit yourself like this to creating what you really care for now your mind gets organized once your mind get organized the way you think is the way you feel your emotion will get organized once your thought and emotion is organized your energies will get organized in the same direction once your thought emotion and energies are organized your very body will get organized once all these four are organized in one direction your ability to create and manifest what you want is phenomenal you are the creator in many ways why i am saying you are the creator is i want you to look at the nature of your life right now 
If you eat a banana, in four hours time, this banana becomes a human being. There is something within you, a life creating process, a process which builds this body. The manufacturer of this body is within. You give him a banana, he makes a human being out of that banana. Transforming a banana into a human being is not a small thing. It is a phenomenon. It is just that this phenomena is happening within you unconsciously. If you could only consciously manifest this, making a banana into a human being, you are the creator. You are nothing less than that. As the theory of evolution goes, to make a monkey into a human being, it took millions of years. Over an afternoon, you can make a banana into a human being or whatever else, a piece of bread that you eat into a human being. So, the very source of creation is functioning within you. If you organize these four dimensions of mind, emotion, body and energy in one direction, the source of creation is with you and you are the creator. What you want to create will happen to you effortlessly. Once you are organized like this, now you are not a mess. You are a kalpa vriksha. You have the power to create what you want. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know in the comments if you liked it. Remember to subscribe, like and share it to your friends. See you on the next video.